Nous célébrons ce chapitre général de notre vie. Nous célébrons ce chapitre général de notre vie. Nous célébrons ce chapitre général de notre vie. At a very special moment of the history of our order, since we are preparing for the jubilee of the order, the 800th anniversary of the confirmation of its vocation of preaching, the preaching in the church. Thus, the chapter chose to invite all the brothers of the order, and with them the whole Dominican family, to draw again at the source of the vocation of Dominic, and to find there the strength to walk a path of truth and humility. This is not about huge celebrations or great moments, but rather like a retreat, to come back to the source and draw the joy and strength of truth, truth within ourselves, truth in our vocation, truth with the world, and also humility, to be able to become what we really would like to be, preachers. The brothers will present you the work of the commissions, and you will see that through all this work they insist on three things. The word of God is central, the fraternal communion is central, and the love of the world, the link between studies and contemplation, and the dialogue with the world is central. Now, I will let you discover the first conclusions of this chapter. From November 7, 2015 until Fe January 27, 2017, the Dominican Order will celebrate a jubilee year marking the 800th anniversary of the confirmation of the order by Pope Honorius III. The jubilee presents a time for the Dominican family to reconnect with its historical roots, to remember the origins when Dominic gathered the brethren together only to send them away again, to scatter them to universities throughout the world. And so it's a time for us to remember what it means to be sent to preach the gospel today in new ways, in creative and imaginative ways. The theme that's been adopted, therefore, is sent to preach the gospel, and it's certainly simple, central to our, our identity as Dominicans, but it's one that can be developed in creative and imaginative ways, we hope, at the local, the provincial level, so that we can enter into a dynamic process of renewal and not merely celebrate events. And so that's what we hope to do in this Jubilee year, enter into a dynamic process of renewal in imaginative and creative ways that at the end, all Dominicans might think about being sent into the world again. Our commission on preaching has studied various things, but the most relevant ones are the Salamanca process, which is an attempt to gather together brothers who are dedicated to pastoral work with brothers who are dedicated to theological reflection and unite them in a common work in order to look for answers to the main difficulties presented by our world. It is a very important process for the renewal of our mission and of our preaching in the world too. Another important area has been the Internet where we Dominicans are present, but where we ought to strive to do more. For example, in the provinces there should be a brother who is in charge of working in the Internet, who, working in tandem with the promoter of the Internet for the order, can find common fields of mission. The Commission on Common Life, with the theme The Following of Christ, deliberated on many things, bordering on the renewal of common life. Major decisions were reached. I would like to mention three. One of them is how to renew our common life, beginning from within ourselves, by sharing the word of God that we have among ourselves, and also sharing the ministries that we have, so that no particular ministry becomes a private enterprise of any single brother. Another decision that was reached was how, so how to take care of the vulnerable among us. This include the sick, the old, and brothers with special needs. And an ordination was made that provinces do formulate policies that will take care of this. And the last major thing that was uh, reached by this commission was how to promote the vocation of the cooperator brother. And all entities were encouraged to study the Dominican Cooperator Brother study report once it is out. Thank you. In the course of the general chapter in Trogir, the Commission on Study wanted to respond to the call we have received to renew the intellectual mission of the Order 
In light of the Jubilee, the celebration of the 800th anniversary of the confirmation of the Order by the Church, thus, the Commission on Studies has focused its attention on trying to renew and restructure our life of studies in the centers of study of the Order, especially at the regional level, by looking at how each region of our Order may provide an answer to social, economic and cultural issues proper to each region and also by analyzing how to restructure the entities under the immediate jurisdiction of the Master of the Order. With all this, we want to be faithful to the call that Dominic issued to preach the truth through our teaching and through our study. We have completed the work of the Commission on Formation. This morning, the chapter members have decided to ask the Master of the Order to appoint one of his associates to help him with work on the formation of the friars. This is of great help to the Master, because there is a lot of work in this regard. There was also talk regarding permanent formation, acknowledging that the entire Order is in continuous formation. There was a special reference to the older friar, who also need formation in order to know how to live this stage in their life and to continue being witnesses to the Gospel. We also talked about training of formators, which is truly necessary. This was discussed and it was decided that formators must be appropriately trained so that they are probably qualified for the job. And we also spoke of the cooperator brother. The cooperator brother's vocation was presented as a renewed vocation in the order nowadays, for which there must be a more thorough promotion, especially since this is a really important vocation. The most important decisions taken by the Commission on Economy during the chapter of Trogir are First, to propose to the regional soci of the Master of the Order to organize meetings of the syndics of the various regions. We believe that these meetings constitute a space where they can increase their knowledge, be trained and share their knowledge with other fellow syndics of the different regions. We also propose that the friar students have financial and accounting training. However, this proposal is not like the ones made by other chapters in the form of ordinations. Now we ask the Master of the Order that this training in finances and accounting be included in the Ratio Formationis Generalis as an integral part of the theoretical and practical training of our student brothers. What's government for in the order of preachers? It's to set us free. It's to enable us to preach the gospel. So sometimes we need to have another look at our structures of government. Are they perhaps burdening people down too much? Have we weighed the brethren down so that they can't preach the gospel because they're too busy running institutions? That's what the chapter of Rome decided was happening three years ago. And what the Commission on Government has done this time around is to re-examine that process, to allow it to continue, perhaps nuance it a little bit. But the whole point of this is to unburden the brothers who are weighed down by these structures, set them free for the mission, and let the master of the order have a little bit more flexibility in what he can do to help these smaller entities so that all the brothers of our order can preach the gospel. Our constitutions try to give a framework to the concrete life of the brothers so that they might know what a community is, what they have to do, what they have to realize, how they have to organize the formation and the finances. We need to be well organized. So the other commissions of the chapter take very practical decisions. But the Commission for the Constitutions has to provide for a foundation for the realization of these elements of our life.
This is why the Dominican legislation is very flexible and must be adjusted at every chapter. Voilà donc la, la the conclusion of the chapter is not about having made great speeches on the world or even on what we are. It is simply about appropriating what we are, our characteristics, our identity. We are sent to preach the gospel, which means enabling a dialogue between the gospel and the world, and that we are fading so that this dialogue takes the whole space. For this, liberty is required, and liberty is necessary for us to be creative, imaginative, and that we let the gospel engrave in us, in our communities, in our provinces, the words that can be received, that can be interesting for today's world. So the chapter really invites to consolidate what is essential for us, for our mission. Our mission is the contemplation of the word. From the contemplation of the word to the contemplation in studies, but at the same time, the contemplation in the dialogue with the world. In other words, through the word, through studying, through the dialogue with the world, it is a contemplation of the presence of grace. At the moment of the Jubilee, what better thing could we do than asking to God that he gives us the grace to be preachers of his grace.